Sure, come out to the coast. We'll get together. We'll have a few laughs. How are we doing, everybody? It's my Tabor City home. That's uh, the best you're going to get out of me on a die-hard impression. Um, what we are doing today is we are in a section of the attic that is above the master bedroom in our house. And if you can tell, we have all this ductwork that goes... To the registers and the ceiling of the bedroom and two things you can see that the main trunk line that goes through to the main attic area that you can access easily is insulated but all this duct work over here has neither been ear sealed or insulated and if you were in the attic because you can't see above the master bedroom from the attic because this space is so narrow i don't think you can you know uh, appreciate the narrowness of this space it's difficult for me to even turn over in here um you, this would be a situation where you'd be in the attic looking back in this area and you'd think everything was insulated and then you'd always wonder why you have such drastic heat loss and air loss into the master bedroom well this would be one of those cases these lines were never ear sealed and they're not insulated so we're going to go through today and we're going to use this mastic <clears throat> and this just brushes on it's a water-based sealant we're going to use this mastic and we're going to go ahead and air seal all this area um, so that we don't get any air leaks and it's pretty easy i got this little cheap little brush right here um, this mastic you basically just paint it on all the joints all the seams and uh you know it'll it'll dry up and and it'll make sure that this is a airtight system and then once that mastic is dry then we can go through and we can actually uh put the insulation on here and feel really good about the product that we have over top of the master uh, bedroom so i'm gonna turn the camera off for a minute i'm gonna get to work because i got a lot of work to do in here and uh this doesn't need to be a 20 minute video but when I get in there a little bit, I'll actually stop and show you a little bit of what we're doing. All right. All right. So we are back. And we have gone through and put mastic on all these other pieces. So just a couple little things about this mastic. Um, basic rule of thumb on this stuff is you cannot use too much. Okay. You can use too little. But you can't use too much. So be pretty free with it. This is not the place to try to save a couple pennies. Um, just slather that stuff on. Doesn't have to be the prettiest in the world either. It just needs to get on there. Now, if you can see this is a six inch aluminum, or excuse me, six inch galvanized duct. The seam where the duct comes together and snaps together, you want to make sure you mastic that. You want to mastic anywhere that you have a screw coming through the sheet metal. Um, anywhere that there's a joint, you want to make sure you get mastic on that. And this is a th pretty thick product. And as you can see, it goes on pretty easy with, a, with just a cheap little brush. I think these brushes are something we picked up at a big box store for like a whole big old pack of them for a dollar so um and actually i do wash this brush out when i get done with it i've used this brush now on several of these uh um ductwork lines and i'm still using the same brush because i just take it down this stuff is water soluble so i wash it out when i'm done with it um so with the mastic you want to make sure these are 90 degree six inch 90 degree articulating elbows Everywhere there's a, a turning point, everywhere there's a potential seam, you want to go ahead and make sure they get mastic on them, all right? You want to make sure it gets on there good and thick. You want to make sure you get good coverage because even though that piece looks right now like it's good and sealed, you can still get an air leak through there. So you mastic everywhere that there is a seam, mastic everywhere there's a screw, mastic everywhere that the pipes join together with either another pipe or a fitting and then anytime you have an articulating joint you want to make sure that you mastic right there with that articulating joint all right and realistically this isn't a terrible process the area i'm working in today is pretty tight so it's not exactly all that fun 
Um, but we're going to put this mastic on. And if you can see down here at the boot where the actual HVAC register comes in the ceiling, I just mastic that entire thing. Um, part of it I couldn't see around the backside, so I made sure I just really laid it on heavy over there. And, you know, uh, this is a few pennies worth of, of money to, to have a lot of peace of mind. We're going to let this dry overnight, um, and then we will come back after this is completely dried up, and we'll go ahead and put the foil insulation on it. All right, maybe that'll be a different video, but this is just masticking. It's a process. It takes a little bit of time, but, you know, peace of mind wise and money saving wise and, and making your unit uh, as solid as it could be, this is an important step. You can do this with foil tape. Um, my experience with foil tape is that if you get, if you have foil tape and you have this blown in insulation here, and you start getting a little bit of that insulation between the tape and the pipe, the tape can actually um, not adhere really well to the pipe. And then, you know, you spent the money, which it's not cheap. It actually, a roll of foil tape costs just about as much as, uh, a little bit more than actually this bucket of mastic. Um, and then you've done the work for nothing because after you put the insulation on, eventually the foil tape doesn't adhere to the pipe anymore. And it's good. Um, this mastic's gonna stay on here forever. I mean, if somebody comes and, and, and carries my dead body out of this house one day and decides to sell this thing, and somebody comes up here and decides to redo something with it, they're gonna be running in this mastic, so. Um, other than that, I'm saying I'm a lot. Other than that, that's what it is. I uh, hope you guys, if you're doing a project at your house and you're trying to air seal all your, all your duct work, you guys are, are having a, a good time of it, because, you know, this is just too much fun. And you guys have a great day, all right? My Tabor City home. Oh, have a blessed day.